My name is Eddie Coljack and I'm a singer-songwriter based out of Scarborough, Ontario. Currently I'm finishing actually my third record, which is going to be self-titled, and uh, I'm about eight tracks in, and uh, I think I'll be wrapping it up in the next few weeks, and then I'm just looking forward to getting it out there, touring, and uh, yeah, promoting it. I actually started by taking an after-school program at my high school in Scarborough, which was Midland Avenue Collegiate. Um, now it's uh, actually shut their doors, but uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was a local blues musician actually that just came in and did an after-school program. And I, I just remember listening to this guy. He was very old school. He had such a great feel and just I was just wowed. And I was like, I, I gotta pick up that guitar. This is magic. Especially when you're, you're a kid. I mean, I was about 12 years old when I started, and uh, it was just awesome. That's what kind of got me going. He taught me the basics, you know, the basic chords and a couple riffs, and that was it for me. I was uh, glued. <laughs> it's so simple, you see, as a change of the world. The best promotion I find these days is just getting out there and playing it live and getting getting your name really to the people direct and the songs. And uh, I think what's involved in that is just playing as much as you can. I typically play about uh, four to six nights a week, so I just like to hammer it out there and get it out there. And then of course we got uh, the internet, social media, YouTube. Uh, actually, I just finished a music video, which we're posting up. It's gonna be for the first single of the album, which is gonna be called Empty. And uh, yeah, just really pushing it, and getting it out there as much as you can with all the uh, means possible. I've been very fortunate to have some great international experiences. I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Dubai, South America, uh, most recently Europe. I did a month tour this year. I think it's awesome. I mean, I think it's uh, every musician's dream to really get out and do the traveling, touring. And I, I've been to a lot of places uh, that, you know, I could never imagine I'd ever go. If it wasn't for music, like my tour in, in um, Europe, some of the uh, the towns I went to in Germany I could barely pronounce. Uh, one of them was called Singwitz. I'm like, where is it? <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just I ended up in some cool places as well as Canada. I've been fortunate enough to uh, travel all over Canada. I've been to places like Thompson, Manitoba, which is on the edge of Manitoba. It's the mining capital of Canada, and uh, I never knew this town existed. <laughs> What is uh, success to you? I heard a great quote, one of my favorite songwriters, Glenn Hansard, a uh, writer from Ireland, and he said, success is getting to do what you love for a living. I mean, so for myself, you know, I mean, I've, I haven't had to have a day job in over 10 years, and I mean, that to me was success. I mean, even if I'm not uh, on MTV every night, um, this is what I do. I get to do it on a full-time basis, and I think that's just an incredible gift, and I think it's success. I really do, because at the end of the day, I mean, you gotta ask yourself, what were your dreams? What, why did you get into this? And for me, it was just, I just wanna play guitar and, <laughs> and get out there and do my thing. You know, I went through the stages of, uh, uh, you know, going into the studio, paying for hourly time, uh, my, my first thing I ever did actually was awesome. I got a grant from Factor, which funds indie talent in Toronto, and uh, they funded my first demo, which was uh, four songs, and it was cool. And I did that actually at uh, Phase One Studios in Scarborough, which is actually a really big studio. They've had a lot of big names record there. So uh, yeah, I, I kind of lived through the whole change of uh, the do-it-yourself technology. Eventually, you know, when you get uh, you're paying a lot of money to record and you're under that time pressure of getting it done. I kind of just, it appealed to me. Well, I can set up my own studio and take my time and write all the songs I want and kind of uh, be my own boss and my own ears. And it, it, I think it takes a lot of pressure off, opposed to being under the clock and having just a small budget or a big budget to work with. I've embraced it, yeah, it's been great. I usually just get uh, a basic um, bed track, they call them. So your, your main guitar and a vocal. That's how I usually go with the recording process. Get that down and, um, and then I layer it up.
for example, this is my latest session. Uh, this is going to be my first single off my latest record. This is called Empty. This is the one we um, just shot a music video for. So, you know, um, it's just kind of, uh, here, here it is as a, as a full. You got the whole band kind of going in there. Drums, vocals, guitar. So it kind of starts off with this. Just your basic guitar riff. And then I'll slowly start adding things, you know. Um, we're going to go uh, to the drums. So I got drums and guitar now. I'll throw on my vocal. And so on. And then layer, layer the bass on this guy. So it's kind of instrument per instrument and uh, vocals one at a time, yeah, pretty much. But w with all this great technology, um, I would still argue you actually have to be a musician. You still need the ears. I mean, you can just mesh any drums in there. It's got to make sense still, you know? So you got to still have the ears. You got to know these instruments inside out and, and know what to put down, yeah. You know, the biggest advice I can give anyone is, is do it because you love it. I've seen so many people get into to music for the wrong reasons, whether it's fame, whether it's attention, whether it's chicks. <laughs> and in the end, that's, it's not enough because there's going to be a lot of struggle, there's going to be a lot of hard times. But I do believe, I mean, at the end of the day, what's gotten me through it is, is the love, the passion. You know, that little boy learning guitar in his bedroom and just loving it and taking that out there. So, and I would say, um, really have to have a lot of drive. I, I see musicians all the time, colleagues of mine calling me up and going, I got no gigs, what's going on? I'm like, well, what are you doing about it? Nothing. That's, well, I mean, okay, you're not gonna work. You have to really, really be driven and aggressive. That's kind of what's worked for me to, to get me a lot of work and to get out there. <laughs> 